Hindu mansion in beautiful Granville, Ohio. Today we're going to have six chuggers, four of them being fast-paced, two a little more calmed down. The entire event is a benefit for the Orthopedic Foundation. If the players on the field could please line up and we'll introduce them as they each ride out. Sounds worth it because it'd be fun for me. I would love to ride it. For the blue team, I got 500. Riding out first is Miss Morgan Abbing. Followed by Mark Falenko, the youngest player on the field today. Next is Scott Wheeler. And finally, Luke Albers. Officiating today's game is Horace Henriot. He'll be in the striped shirt. And for the white team, riding out first is Lauren Risch. Followed by Dr. Mark Gittens, the orchestrator of today's event. Let's everyone give Mark a big round of applause. Next is Pete Risch. And last but certainly not least is John Albers. If all could please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps. Put your right hand over your heart and join us for the national anthem. And before we get underway with today's match, we'll have the players and their ponies parade along the sidelines. Feel free to walk right up to the sideline, reach out your hand, you'll maybe get a high five or an up close look at your favorite player and their pony. The game of polo is thousands of years old, originating we think in either Pakistan or China, though it's hard to tell. Today in its current form, the game is played four on four. The player must hold the mallet in their right hand. They hit it with the broad side of the mallet, not the front or back, as you wouldn't croquet. And the objective is simple, to get the ball through the upright right on the far end of the field. There's no top boundary. You can hit it as high as you want, but as long as it's between the two posts. After each goal, the goals are switched, and the team will try to go the other direction. The game is begun by the referee bowling in the ball between the two teams at the center of the field. The teams will face the goal to which they're headed. And coming out of the bowl in, Good back shot by Dr. Gittens. Scott Wheeler coming around with the ball, turning it. 
and head it upfield. Good defensive play by John Albers and a strong back, sh back shot by Mark Gittens. Young Mark is on the ball, goes for neck shot and misses. But it's picked up by Pete Rich. And here comes Mark Gittens with another defensive play. He's been all over these back shots so far. Shot by Mark Falenko and Luke Albers out to take the ball. Picked up by Scott Wheeler and Luke on the ball. We have a father son matchup in the yellow helmets here. Great shot by Scott Wheeler to keep the ball going, and John Albers playing defensively in the corner. Pete Rich turning the ball back upfield, getting it out of his own territory. Good take by Mark Gittens. I'm waiting for Liz. And he's letting his horse run. And the referee's called the ball out of bounds. He'll bowl it in from the sideline. Correction, there was a penalty given a spot hit for the blue team. Another correction. The ball went out in a new rule this year <laughs> as the opposite team from that that knocked it out, taking the ball in. It appears the white team knocked it out again. And Luke Albers will be bringing the ball back into play. Strong shot by Luke. Out of bounds, just to the right of the goal. It'll be the white team taking it in from the goal line. John Albers carrying the ball. And he'll let that pony open up. Tracked down by Scott Wheeler and Luke Albers with the back shot. Great shot by Luke. Luke Albers claiming the line of the ball. So we're at the pub. 
And Scott Wheeler with a beautiful back shot. Dr. Giddens on the ball again. Hi. Hi, Pat. What are you doing here, Tony? <laughs> Both teams are defensively strong here today. I was here first. And Lauren Rich is battling through. Like Greg? Mark Flanco with just enough back shot to trip people up, but it looks like John Albers is taking it through anyhow. A race to the goal. And it appears wide right. No goal for the white team. The blue team will take it back in. Each chucker is seven minutes long. After the seventh minute, one horn is blown. We have a 30 minute period after which, if the ball goes out of play, that's the end of the chucker, or after 30 seconds, being a total of seven and a half minutes on the chucker, that will be the end of it. The Albers are out in front chasing the ball. Strong shot by Luke, and we have a horse race. <laughs> 45 seconds left until the seven minute mark. Oh my gosh, this is mine. <laughs> and the ball's been knocked out of bounds. Liz, do you have your hair in a French braid? Okay. Which is it? You want for you? We have umbrellas. Luke Albers taking the ball in with a powerful first shot. Another long ball by Luke Albers, just to the right of the goal. With seven seconds left in the first chucker. A strong knock in and a strong back shot by father and son. Watch your eyes, Liz. Mark Gittens turning that ball around and headed for the goal. Great defensive riding by Scott Wheeler. And that's Chucker. At the end of the first chucker, the score is zero to zero. We're gonna have a tough matchup here today, but we've seen some great defensive play. I'd like to take this first opportunity to introduce some of our sponsors. At the platinum level, we have Next Step Orthopedics. It's time for what's next. And to one of our gold level sponsors and hosts today, Ortho Nero, for every motion in life. Hey, player. Save a horse ride a cowboy. Returning, we'll have Scott Wheeler in blue, Mark Falenko in blue, maybe a handful of others. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Did you hear me? Carlos yeah. got tickets for the ICs. For the ICs and the. Uh... This, at the beginning of this, Chucker, play will commence where the ball last was during play in the previous Chucker. Here, I got chips and stuff, but we're gonna we're making 
And one more new player returning to the field, Coco Monroy on the white mare riding left or right. Referee Horace Henry out getting ready to bowl in the ball. Bill Cochran coming out with the ball, but quickly taken by Alec Henry. Luke Albers dropping on the line. And then ended up slapping it away with a back shot. Scott Wheeler running down with the, fi the field with the ball, chased by Alec Henriot. I did a little, little, little mush. Bacon fell up though. And so I, I sent that picture to Brian. I told him to get a point. He texted back like, you need, a, you need a, an, an iron. You need a real iron. I ordered one. It would be a Tuesday. Oven's best, yeah. But I like I like the outside. The whistle's been blown. And I didn't get one everywhere. You know what I mean? It's super clean. So I like that so far. She gets mad at me when I get a little spatter on the stove and stuff. So anytime I'm in the potatoes or whatever. Stopping the clock, it appears to be a foul on blue, resulting in a spot hit for the white team. Yeah, so it is. Pretty nice. Like it? Alec Henry out lighting off with the ball, coming up the left side. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that horse stretch out. Picked up by Bill Cochran. Mark Gittins is not letting him get away with it. Good teamwork by the blue team. A back shot from Luke Albers right to his teammate, Bill Cochran. on the field. 
It appears to be a penalty three on the field, resulting in a 40-yard shot for the white team. This is undefended, and white team gets a free shot on goal. Coco Monroy with the shot. And it's good. Putting the white team up, 1-0 against blue in the second chucker. The players return to the middle of the field where the ball will be bowled in. They'll be going for the opposite goals this time, meaning white to the left and blue to the right. And the ball is in. First touch by Luke Albers. Picked up by Bill Cochran. And he's just taking the ball right down the field. Coco tries to sweep in and take it. But Mark Falenko is running towards the goal. Stolen by Alec Henriot. And turned up field. Picked up by Mark Kittens. It's coming towards the sidelines, and I'll call that one out of bounds. That'll be a free shot for Blue from that location. Guys, am I putting that ball over here? Good first touch by Luke Albers. Hit on by Scott Wheeler, but it appears to be just wide left. It'll be White's job to take it in from the end line. And here comes Alec Henry, wasting no time at all. Another great ball. Look at this young player ride. Great back shot by Luke Albers. He was not permitted to take it on his right side. He'd be crossing the line of the ball and committing a foul, so he took it on the left. Beautiful play. Taken by Coco Monroy for the white team. And look at him ride. Chased down by Scott Wheeler, but Coco's horse has some wheels. And I'll call that a goal, ladies and gentlemen. One more for the white team. Two minutes left until the first horn. Horace has blown the whistle, stopping the clock. And the ball's back in play. Coco and Roy coming out with the ball. And Bill Cochran finally dropping on the line, being played by Alec Henriot. Alec turning the ball around. Great shot, but it appears to be going out of bounds. Watch your feet, ladies and germs. And 
It'll be another spot hit for Blue. Oh, I go straight into your calf. They seem to like that location. Luke missed it, but recovers with a back shot. Coco took that one right to the body and turned around with the ball. Alex finally sweeping it up. Ball's been bashed deep into the corner. Luke Albert's going to turn the ball in. <laughs> and Mark Falenko with a good touch to get the ball out of that cluster. Oh, you mean like a hammer? I don't know. The whistle's blown. We have a lost stirrup. It appears Mark Gittens is riding with only his left stirrup at the moment. With all the equipment necessary to play polo, sometimes there will be malfunctions. Luckily, not only the rules, but the culture of the game mandate that all players look out for one another and take care of one another on the field. It looks like we're getting Mark all set back up, and the referee is remounting his pony. Getting ready to put the ball back into play, as the stoppage was no one's fault, a fair, put, a fair placement in the form of a bowl in has been performed, and Luke Albert is coming in hot on the ball. Bill Cochran picking it up. And there's the first horn, we've got 30 seconds left from the chucker. Strong back shot by Mark Gittens and Alec and Scott Wheeler dropping on the ball. And there's a horse race for you. Oh, uh, oh, Alec with one more shot, but it looks like it went wide right, and that'll be the end of the chucker. Score at the end of the second chucker is 2-0 with White leading. I know he's down there. Alright, guys. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> 
Beginning the third chucker with the white team at a 2-0 advantage, Chris Benetton is taking the ball in. Picked up by Bill Cochran. Great little back shot. And Chris keeps the ball moving. Yeah. 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 see horses? Mm-hmm. you pet them? No. no. Bill Cochran keeping the ball moving, and RJ with a back shot. Am I going to stay tomorrow or Tuesday? Oh, I got Why don't you drive on? Okay. Bill Cochran moving the ball still on the white mare. Tomorrow. Come on, Explain what happened, and they can go tomorrow. What did they do? Come on, and the whistle's been blown. Are you going to take her? Alicia hitting the ball right into a crowd of feet. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did ya? Huh? Mm -hmm. Just extra bag of chips laying around. Can we get chips? Can we get chips and food? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I will warn you, the queso is spicy. You think you're gonna get some mild queso right there? I'm hungry. I know, honey. We're going to go eat. She's not gonna go with me, so I'm just gonna get food. Okay. Oh, and a great goal by the blue team. And the players are headed back to the center of the field. I love you. It is almost five. The movie is a different So you don't have to get home. You don't have to get home. You don't have to get home. I'm very thirsty. Jane called. I'm very thirsty. Hey, me. Hey, me. Did you bring any drink? Who's this guy? And another whistle on the play. We have four minutes left until the first horn. Bill Cochran with a back shot. Mayor 
started right, turning the ball around for the white team. I need to call Granny back. But great defensive play by Alicia. Is this Pax? RJ taking the ball on down the field. Joey and I saw it. Um, uh, Melissa as well. Bill Cochran in tow. Playing a little bit of defense. And Mary Wright keeps the ball moving. I know. I know Cochran. Alicia Bertone. I couldn't believe it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Paxton. Hold hands with mommy. Your and there's another whistle on the play. Melissa with a great back shot. All these years. Alicia Bertone turning on the ball, but it's picked up by RJ. I can finally see him. And the ball is trying to go in the goal, but I see a flag in the air, and I'll call that a goal. One more for the white team. Okay, go tell mommy. And the ball's in play. Mom, will you scream it? Chris Benetton with a great near side neck shot. Why? We're leading. Why? Why are we leading like right now? Good back shot by Mary Wright, and she's turning around on the ball. She and Bill Crocker are racing towards the ball. Bill's sticking right with her. Now he's doing a great job dribbling the ball towards the goal. But it's falling by the wayside. Alicia Bertone and Bill Cochran are keeping the ball moving back towards the blue objective. There's our first horn, 30 seconds left in the chucker. Bill Cochran running away with the ball. And that horn marks the chucker. A great chucker for our newer players. Three chuckers down and three to go. That marks halftime. I'd like to personally invite everyone to walk on out onto the field. Stomp some divots. Bring a champagne or a lemonade with you, whatever you fancy. Say hello to your neighbor, meet some people, have some fun. We also have foot mallets over by the center of the field. If any kids or really anyone at all who's interested in polo and interested in the mallets would like to come over, try one out, take a swing at it. We've got plenty of them over here. Mom, I need to go to Joey. 
Here, I'll do it. Just to be perfectly clear, they're foot mallets. You can walk around on your own two feet. You don't even have to look at a horse if you don't want to. They are too much fun, and I'll be over here playing with one myself. And there's champagne at midfield for all those interested. I know where I'll be. But at this moment, I'd like to hand the microphone over to the man of the day. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. It's a really special person. I grew up with him. And I'm finally seeing him. Can you watch him? Joey's the best person in the world.